Is the impossible possible? Is this the light at the end of the tunnel or the tunnel at the end of the light? So, Impossible Foods makes Impossible Burger and directly from their website, this is what they said. We started by extracting heme from the root nodules of soybean plants, but we knew there was a better way. So we took the DNA from these soy plants and inserted it into a genetically engineered yeast. The idea being is, what makes a burger a burger is the heme. And that's what they're trying to derive from the soy nodule. So according to Dr. Michael Eisen, who's a professor at Berkeley, he wrote an article for Medium, How GMOs Can Save Civilization, and probably already have, a shareholder and a contributor to Impossible Foods, and I think this article was written by Impossible Foods, that this is a good thing. Well, is it a good thing? So Impossible Foods did their own study. They took 10 male rats, 10 female rats, and fed them Impossible Burger for 28 days. And from GMO Science, we did an article about their study. And what we found is the, sh the study showed that there were changes in the chemistry, in the weight, and in the reproductive area of these rats. And Impossible Burger said, well, these are not significant clinically. These are not toxicological effects, and they have no clinical significance. The number of rats, very small, and the time period of study was very short. Normally, we study these kind of things for at least three months. What about the FDA? The Impossible Burger, Impossible Foods, went to the FDA to get this burger, Gross, generally recognized as safe. The FDA first said, uh, 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 no, 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 but then went ahead and approved it with no questions letter, meaning, it's a method to release the FDA from potential liability. The FDA asserts that it's the responsibility of the company to produce foods safe for the consumer. Let's look at the burger. Let's compare Impossible Burger with a beef burger. Wow, this burger's looking pretty good. Lots of vitamins, which were added, more salt, more iron than a beef burger, no selenium. So looking at these macronutrients, it looks like this Impossible Burger is a healthier burger. Is that true? Do vegetarians actually need more iron? That's the question. Is there not enough iron from vegetarian foods? Well, let's look at the diet, a typical diet of a vegetarian. We've got certain seeds, legumes, nuts, green veggies like spinach and kale. We've got things like mushrooms and, and palm hearts and lots of goodies with iron. So not so sure that is a justified argument. A nonprofit group, GMO Free USA has launched their own study to determine whether the Impossible Burger is causing reactions, health problems in citizens. We call this citizen science. And they have over 250 reports so far and they will re be reporting out on their own data very shortly. Is it allergenic? Well, we know soybeans are allergenic, but what about this soy nodule that produces leg hemoglobin that is genetically engineered? Is that allergenic? Well, according to Dr. Taylor from the University of Nebraska, Impossible Foods does not need to study this because it's not ever been shown that this soybean product is allergenic in the past. So it's up to the consumer. All they have to do is say it contains soy. Is that an issue? Well, we know that soy allergy is one of the eight most common food allergens for both adults and kids. And it's common to have coexisting soy allergy in patients with cow's milk allergy. About 17% of patients with a cow milk allergy are also sensitive to soy. And we're not even looking at intolerances and sensitivities. So this question to me, not solved. The soy leg hemoglobin product extracted from GM yeast is about 73% pure. The remainder is made up of about 46 additional yeast proteins. Some are unidentified. We at GMO Science did a report on this. They have not been assessed for safety. They have not been part of the human diet. So allergenicity and immunologic reactions are not known. What about this Beyond Burger? This is a plant-based patty that a lot of people said, well, is the Beyond Burger genetically modified? It's not, it's not a GMO burger. And actually it's not organic. It's not GMO, but it's not organic, meaning it does contain pesticides. 
So I went and looked and investigated and found, well, gee, there's stuff in that burger that may not be so healthy. When you see isolate, you see that pea protein isolate in the burger? Well, isolates have to be extracted and yes, processed. So there's a lot of stuff in there. When you look at yeast extract in there, that's usually a code word for monosodium glutamate or MSG, which is a neuroexcitatory uh, chemical. And there's carrageenan in there as well. And a lot of people are sensitive to carrageenan. So whether this burger is so healthy either, better than the Apostle Burger, but not a health food. This is all happening for the love of meat flavor. I'm Dr. Michelle Perro, Executive Director of GMO Science. Producers, editors are Ginger Souders-Mason and Jot Theory.